Amputees are a category of people who lack a limb or two. They usually go with one or two options, go on with their limbless state, or cope with the use of a prosthetic. There are two types of prosthetics that are to be compared here, which are the bionic arm, and the 3D printed arm. The bionic arms are fully functional, but are priced at a level where not all amputees can afford it. 3D printed arms are affordable, and priced less than compared to the usual price range of bionic arms. But they lack the functionality that the bionic arms have. How do we want to achieve a more functional 3D printed arm? In this project, we are tempted to increase the functionality of the 3D printed arm by increasing the number of gestures it is able to do. By the use of electronic components, this can be achieved. This starts off with the design of the readout interfacing circuit, which comprises of our designed active bridge and a custom designed operational amplifier. This circuit is designed so that it can address the linearity and sensitivity issues a conventional bridge would bring. Implemented inside the bridge is a tactile sensor, which acts as a variable resistor inside the active bridge circuit. Both these elements combined produce a significant sensitive voltage output change, which is due to the resistivity change of the sensor. The circuitry is connected to a microcontroller, which then is connected with the 3D printed arm which has already been implemented with electronics. The arm then reacts according to the microcontroller. Firstly, the 3D printed arm is low in functionality. Second, conventional Wheatstone bridge has sensitivity issues. Firstly, to increase the functionality of 3D printed arm. Second, to propose a readout interfacing circuit that can interface the tactile sensor with the 3D printed arm. This project is divided into three parts, which are, fabrication, integrated circuit design, and device development. The tactile sensor was fabricated in-house at Mara University of Technology's Nanotechnology Laboratory. The circuit design was designed using Siltera's 0.13 CMOS technology. Proof of concept and device development was done as well. The innovation of this project is that it brings three aspects of electronics together, which are, fabrication, integrated circuit design, and device development. From simulation it is observed that the proposed active bridge is more sensitive, with a sensitivity of 4.33 mV per ohm, compared to the conventional 0.7 mV per ohm. By proof of concept using the tactile sensor, it also indicates that the active bridge is more sensitive. With a sensitivity of 45.46 mV per centimeter, it is the more sensitive one. Choosing the more sensitive circuit would help the microcontroller in producing more gestures for the 3D printed arm. What is being shown now is the layout of the ROIC circuit. Here are a couple of comments by the head of the team behind the production of 3D printed arms locally. Thank you. 